Hey everybody, it's Catherine Hart here of Heart and Soul Studio, the unacting coach. Well, actually, I guess you're recognizing it's not really Catherine unless I have done it the best acting job in the world and I'm playing a big cream standard poodle. This is Boo. And Boo is staring at you because today's video, oh, and he's winking too, he thinks you're cute, is connecting. Hello, it really is Catherine Hart now. I'm sorry, I know, I'm not nearly as cute as Boo the standard poodle, but um, I have a little doggy on my sweater, does that count? Not really, okay. So today, I'm going to talk to you about connecting. What I mean by connecting is not just looking at someone. It's not just seeing someone. It is connecting, really connecting to someone. Someone that you are working with, another actor. Someone that you need to do more than just have a conversation with, and most of you aren't even doing that. Yeah, you should really never sound like you're acting. It should always be unacting. You should always just feel like you're having a real conversation with someone, and it should look like that too. But I want to go deeper. I want to connect with my soul. And although that may seem frightening to some of you to connect to my soul, I find it quite invigorating, and it's what makes the magic. So why would I ever want to do this thing called acting for a living if I didn't really love to interact, to connect, to communicate, to share my soul with the world. I want to do that. It's the most important part of acting. It's what makes it so spectacular for me yeah, and also for the audience. So how do I do that? Well, first of all, you have to not try to hide from the other person. You have to get rid of your blocks. Um, I gave a, a training video not long ago where I told you to go out in nature and walk around and find out your real purpose and who you are and all that good stuff. That's a good place to start. But if you're doing any kind of acting training, they're probably working on trying to get rid of your blocks, the things that we all put you know, out there for society to see so that we aren't hurt or crushed or <laughs> broken by this cruel world. Take them away. Let the cruel world break you. They won't. In fact, what I suggest is that you embrace the things that you fear most every day, first thing. If you have pain, tell it to come forward. If you embrace that pain, it will not feel like pain anymore. It'll be done. If you have a fear, do it. Because then, even if it's the worst thing in the entire world you could imagine, and that probably won't really happen. You are done with it, and now you can go about celebrating that you actually survived and you feel so much stronger, more powerful. So get used to allowing people, especially when you're acting, to see who you really are. It's sort of like you feel like someone accidentally dropped your pants. Oh, and the whole world sees exactly who I really am. Okay, that's a frightening thought, I know. But the deal is, that's why we fall in love with you. It is what is inside of your soul. It is the vulnerabilities, the weaknesses, the fragile things that you only show to your dearest friends that make your characters interesting too. So I must not be afraid to share them. And when I act with another person, if I look into their eyes and stop worrying about what I am saying and what they're seeing in me, forget that. I want to see something inside of them. I want to really connect. I want to see their soul. I'm fascinated by it. I, I want to see what's truly behind the facade. And in doing so, you will see who I truly am because all of my blocks will go away because I'm not thinking about how I'm presenting myself. No. I'm just seeing you. I'm connecting to you. And that is where all the good stuff starts to happen. So, you can even just practice this by looking in the mirror and really seeing inside of your own eyes or playing to a video camera directly into the lens and seeing who you really are. Don't 
be afraid. It's all the good stuff. So, just practice. Like, practice with your dog. Practice with your best friend. Practice with your mom. Practice with your, you know, your brother, your sister. And just see if you can really look into your friend's eyes. Make a game of it. And see what they're really thinking. What is it? And make a game and see if, if you guess what they're really thinking. Use your psychic abilities. Use your intuition. Use your trust. Use what you really feel. Use your energy. See if you can really feel what someone else is feeling. And then tell them and see how close you came to it. Then let them look at you into your eyes and see what you're thinking, what you're feeling, who you really are. A good thing to do is to look at the other person, I do this in one of my classes actually, and tell them what you see that's good and positive and powerful inside of them. And you have to say it to them, not like, I see inside of her, I see inside of you. And then they have to do the same thing to you. So, if you don't do this, I shall come through this very screen and start to connect to you. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Kind of scary. <laughs> I'm sorry. You'll look better when you connect than I do. <laughs>